Oh, I feel pretty good. I always feel good when I score because it helps the team to win. So, and as a striker, I feel like that's my job. So I feel sad if I don't. Did you think you were going to get your head on that second one, or were you surprised? I wasn't surprised. I saw the cross was good. I could have had it even better, but I'm glad it worked out at the end. So it seems like things are really coming together for you individually and for the team before you guys head into conference play. What do you have to say about that? Well, it's a step-by-step -step process, so I do think that every game has been better. Today was a little bit difficult because we had a really tough game on Friday, so legs were heavy, but we still were able to get the win. Plus, the win today was uh, it was really unfortunate. Some, some balls, you just couldn't predict where it's going to bounce. So you changed your number back to 17 from last season. What was your reasoning behind that? Well, uh, one of our coaches, Brock, our assistant coach, he asked me if I wanted to go back to 17, and I was like, why not? Last year, it brought me a lot of success, so I wanted to see it in two games, three goals and assists. It's been good. It's been real, so <laughs> I'm going to keep it. I, I like, like it. it. You know, it's a uh, shutout. It's a win. Uh, and it's a good result, you know, so now we get to focus on kind of what's at hand. We start a conference, it's the end of uh, kind of, you know, the non-conference exhibition game. So we got really ha pleased with the way we played so far, you know, uh, had, a, had a demanding schedule and a tough schedule. And we got some great results. So really pleased with the girls and proud of them. And they should, you know, they're happy uh, to get a shutout and move forward. So the team held Marshall to single digits and shots. Can you talk to me a little bit about the effort that went into that and what you thought? Yeah, yeah. Um, felt the team did a great job. You know, Marshall's got a couple pieces that are just phenomenal uh, where, you know, we've seen tape on them and we have a ton of respect for them. Their wing players are exceptional. So to be able to come in a game and hold them to, I, I think, like six shots maybe. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how many, but uh, it says a lot about the guys, the back group's effort. Uh, they were under pressure. And, uh, you know, Wiki did a phenomenal job in goal and keeping a clean sheet in the back four. You know, they got the shutout. So I think if we can do that, we're going to walk away with a real successful season. Awesome. All right. And then talk to me a little bit about Evie. Obviously, she had two goals today for you guys. That was huge. I mean, that made the yeah. difference in the win. Yeah, difference in the game, you know. So, uh, you know, even the other night, you know, Evie had a lot of energy to her, scored a great goal. Uh, had the assist on the second goal, you know, and... Uh, and today she just, you know, she continued right where she left off. You know, she pressed. She did a great job, scored two phenomenal goals, and she has the difference in the game. And you guys start conference play this week. Can you talk to us a little bit about what your expectations are heading into league play? Well, you know, I mean, our expectations is like everybody else in the conference. You know, it's a fresh start. You start over. So we're 0-0, zero and zero, just like everybody that starts Thursday night. Uh, we have a really good one on the road. North Alabama finished second in the league last year. So we're looking forward to the opportunity to kind of see, you know, where we're at and, um, you know, I'm confident in our group. They're ready to play. They're excited about the opportunity in front of them.